like like if you ever visit the bay in the area he from is rough. Okay. And he got family that's knucklehead. You know what I'm saying? Hammer is with the and he work out and he he dance like an hours. <laughs> He'll beat your ass for a good three or four hours. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Good yourself, man. Okay. So we ain't even let you just do us like that, oh, man. Oh, man, but I'm saying, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just seeing like, oh, damn, they got whoop de whoop on it. They got her. Oh, so the show doing the what it's supposed to do, yeah, man. man. Thanks yeah. to people like you who've been supporting us for day oh, one, man. man so we want to tell you thank you and Kenyatta for sure. Thank y'all, yeah, man. Yeah, thanks, Kenyatta, man. I was just like, when you first told me you interviewed, I was like, who can interview me? Who's this? Man, I was happy as hell. I'm like, oh, these are my folks, and y'all super cool too. Nah, man, we love you, ask, bro. Y'all, y'all, y'all interviews be like on point because you asking questions like brothers watching would think. I wonder what he think about this, and y'all ask it. I don't know, like y'all reading mine. We don't really do that, man. There's some things that happen on the show. Like I got yeah. a thing for you right now. I could ask you about. We had a guy named Benito that came on our show, uh, and he used to be with uh, Benito. Benito, uh, no, no Benito, and he used to be with a, uh, MC, uh, Hammer. MC Hammer. Okay, and he basically spoke on MC Hammer and Ice Cube's issue when they was basically uh, uh, when when Be True to the Game was coming out, right? And it what? had yeah, the MC Hammer in the mm -hmm. trunk. Pool, pool. You see, okay, and, and, and you basically <laughs> hardcore. You, you, like you was at, you say you was at Roscoe's Chicken. Roscoe's and Wild. Chicken and Wild. Which Hollywood. one of them? Hollywood. Hollywood. Right off of Vine. And, and, and tell me what happened. And uh, we was at the hotel chilling because we was down for the two legit to quit. All this shit happened, man, like in a, in a matter of a month. A different, a lot of different events. So one of the, I guess, people, spies, whatever, hammer. Ice Cube is at uh, Hollywood. But uh, what did Ice Cube and Hammer have issues about? The, the, the video he made. He had a video. I mean, he tied Hammer up, put the duct tape on him, threw him in the trunk. And what was the name of that show? Um, I can't remember. But I remember the video. I yeah. remember it. Yeah, him, him and, uh, him and uh, Pooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who was over there during this time? What was what was the temperature like for you? See, that's what I do, man. I do this. Oh, okay. So yeah, what you, was, hey, you showed this. <laughs> what was the, what was the temperature PhD, like? What, what was it? What was it? What was it? Was it was it cool during that era for you and for you and Cube? Was you around during that time? I I, I was I around. I was around, but I I wasn't working working with him like that. Okay, you know what I'm saying. But I was like, you know, I, I knew I know you know hell of people and shit, especially Pooh, funny ass. That nigga's a fool, man. But um, yeah, it, it. I mean, Q was just he felt a certain way. He talked about it. He felt he saw somebody he didn't like it. He talked about it. You know what I'm saying? That's all he was doing, and he didn't give a damn. Okay, and when this <laughs> happened, the thing came out on our show, and then it was recanted that they had a run in at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, yep. and said that one guy tried to make Q look bad. We're like, well, no, Benito got it wrong. Let me yes. let me get it right. Yes. I, I don't know about all that. No, 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 no. You don't oh, know about it. He got just... it wrong. I'm just. He said he got it wrong. He came on the show and he said, no, nah, because I talked to one of Hammer's bodyguards, and he was like, they threw the table on him, so it looked like he had got wet up and you know on his pants and it was like oh he did this on this stuff so he came back and recanted that i made him come back because oh, okay. i was like bro what happened so what his bodyguard said was when i talked to him on the phone and benito was there he said that he they pushed the table over on him cube only had two bodyguards with him they had like 20 30 niggas with them mm -hmm. and cube and mc hammer went in the roscoe's chicken and waffle bathroom and talked it out and then they left and that's kind of okay. how the story went. But mm -hmm. it wasn't nothing after it did, you know, man to man talked. And because, uh, I, you know, Hammer felt bad about the fact that, hey, man, you talking like I'm doing this for the culture. And I know it ain't looking like the rap that you guys do. But, hey, man, don't, you know, just go <laughs> in. Is no and they say Hammer no. wasn't no joke. Oh, nigga. Why do niggas say on, Why man. do everybody say that? What makes people up, say that? I mean, like, like, if you ever visit the Bay in the area he from is rough. Okay. And he got family that's knucklehead. You know what I'm saying? Hammer is with the and he work out and he he dance like an hours. <laughs> He'll beat your ass for a good three or four hours. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you want to fuck with Hammer, man? <laughs> oh, that nigga got hands and he you know dance and bust your ass but, with some baggy pants on. <laughs> but you <laughs> gotta understand two good hours. Let's, nigga. let's be real. Being that we from that era and we know what was going on back then, you had uh, the the. 
the the I wore the White Sox hat or the Raiders hat, black and white with the Raiders jersey with the yeah. ra- with the starter jersey. You know what I mean? Starter jacket. Yeah, with the starter jacket and the and and all the shirts. You know the T-shirts during the summer. Like the and then you see Hammer come out with these big old pants. People wasn't really just you know receiving that certain ones right, that no, was I'm, not in that air. No, no, not not feeling the way he was doing that. At that that when Hammer came out. That's the time I was hanging with Shug. Oh, Shug okay. and West was like either doing bodyguard work for Hammer. I met Hammer at, That's at right. that time. That's right. He was performing at the at the um, he was performing at the Forum. Okay. And then niggas parked in the back. We went downstairs and came up and went to the nigga dress room. And so I think Ham, like Hammer is smarter than most people think. You know what I'm saying? So if you sit back and look at the game, so what could I do to sell out like a motherfucker? Sell out these shows? Sell out these 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 records and shit? I think that's what Hammer was on. He was on it all the way. He was on it all the way. And a lot of times, especially in Hollywood, it ain't just Hammer. You got somebody saying, you should do, they ain't ours saying, do something like this. The wardrobe person say, hey, this is the new look, or we can make your look, make you stand out. And make, because you got to think about it, if you, if you got the Jerry Curl and you got the baggy clothes, this, that, and the other, they're going to think you're an NWA or they're going to think you're, you're a, a certain group. You're not going to poke out. You know what I'm saying? A lot of rappers came out copying Ice Cube that you probably never even heard of. But then they could come on their clothes. You're like, what the fuck is this nigga? You know what I'm saying? Then he grooving, he dancing. Cause like before that, uh, you can't test this video. Um, let's get it started. He just had on regular club clothes, and he but he was just dancing like a motherfucker. And he had twenty motherfuckers with him. It up, you know what I'm saying? That was a lot of work. That was a lot of work. And he opened it. So I seen him then, and I was like, damn, this nigga is rapping his ass off, but he dancing his ass off. He ain't. <laughs> he's still busting like he. Why you still dancing? That, that's hard. I think that's one of the things that you got to respect in Hammer, the fact that he was able to come in during an era like that and change the game yeah. and get people to see him and recognize him and be successful at it. Matter of fact, overtake the whole, really the whole moment. He took that whole moment for himself yeah. Yeah. with the dancing and just with the with the antics and the music and the way he was bringing right. it. And he, and he created a lot of opportunity for a lot of blacks when you really think yeah, about it. Yeah, he did, he did. But don't, the only thing that I think most rappers didn't like is that when you come out and you're successful, the record labels get involved. They say, hey man, you need to do something like this. And them niggas are like, nigga, I ain't finna put on them pants and start dancing, nigga, you know what I'm saying? So I think a lot of rappers were like, man, get this nigga out of here, man. I ain't finna put that shit on. <laughs> Hell no, nigga, I got my starter hat, my, my khakis, my, you know what I'm saying? My chucks, I ain't wearing that shit. But that's what labels do, like shit. Like when Beyonce came out, showing them legs, that song, Crazy in Love, whatever, all them labels are. Re, uh, we had release dates for certain artists. They pushed them out the back. So y'all niggas getting in the gym. Y'all girls got to get in the gym, man. You got to get them legs up. Shanti, all of them had to go back in the gym and, and all that. So all of them. The regular ladies was like, nah, you got to copy that. So niggas was like, wait a minute. I ain't finna be wearing no baggy pants. I ain't finna, you know what I'm saying? Just like him. It was, it was stories that came out, man. People was talking about it, man, with MC Hammer. He had a... Uh, the police department had the name, his name on uh, like their helicopters in there. That's uh, the, yeah, back in Oakland. They hmm. were, and that's where him and Two Short had an issue because they was acting like he was helping the police. It was a crazy oh, story. Wow. It was that stuff mm. got so crazy, man. Yeah, I mean you. I mean sometimes I'm pretty sure he did. He, he didn't tell this. them to do that. They just did it. Right, but I'm pretty sure like like a lot of times we, we come from rough backgrounds. And to be successful, we got to have the squeaky clean, you know what I'm saying? When we got monkeys and gorillas that we related to, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't, because he got monkeys and, gor- and gorillas we related to. Don't fuck, yeah, don't fuck with Hammer, you know what I'm saying? Hammer had everybody so on So he had board. to keep that, yeah, he had to keep that on tuck and just let me dance and put my glasses on and cut my hair up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but a lot of times, that's, um, that's like, it's hard to do. But it, to me, it's not challenging. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He's not telling you a story. You you can't remember a hammer. Like, you can't, don't touch this. You, what else are you going to remember? You know what I'm saying? That's you, see the way, why my you talk. music hit me so, so hard. hard. Make me say, say oh, my God. Lord, thank you for blessing me with a... Yeah, don't go yeah, there. Don't go there. Song. Name another song. You sing the same song, okay. but, another, but that's what I'm you saying. Know, it ain't like that. It ain't like that. So you go. It ain't like that. The time in the project, yo. yo you know my damn near had the record hold. Right. So I can I, keep going. Uh, we keep going. Right. So yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But, yeah. 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 That, so that, there, there's a way, like, like say for instance, if I took my shirt off and I was all buff, I'm not. 
But if I did, I was all buff. I know I get all kind of girls look at look at the look at this view just to see my shirt off. Yeah, right. So I know I can pump up by doing certain shit. Mm -hmm. So when you're doing creatively doing music, you can say, oh, if I did some shit like this, this make people like it, even though it's not. It wouldn't be classy. It wouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, respecting the, the craft. You're not being an artist, really. You'd be like, oh, you know what? If I just do, paint some push this thing, it's gonna sell out. That's not really art, you know what I'm saying? So you're not really telling a story. I'm not in your world, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.